Oh, yes, my lord. Are you tired? No, my lord. You want to drink some water? Thank you, my lord. Thank you, me. You want to drink or you don't want to drink? Uh, my lord, I took some before coming. <laughs> okay. Um, have you lied in your life before? Have you lied in your life before? Oh, my lord, as a woman, I might even sometimes say something which is, uh, let me say, a yes. Say to a woman. I might even say something which is um, a lie. Yes. How about today? Have you lied? No, my lord. And um, you're a very brave person. Thank you, my lord. Very brave. Thank you, my lord. Very observant. You're very observant. Yes, my lord. When you are somewhere, you try to see what is happening so that you may remember if anything and you have to tell somebody. So you are very observant. Yes, my lord. The training that you had, and what year was this? My lord, that was 86. How old are you? My lord, I'm 54. So, 86, how old were you? In 86, how old were you? Uh, my lord, I was then 20. Yes, I was, I, I then I was around 21, 22 there. And uh, was it a regular army or uh, this PDDC? It was a regular army. R regular recruitment. Re regular recruitment. Where did you start the recruitment process? We started at AWAC. And uh, what did you go through? We went through physical uh, selections. After that, we did uh, uh, at least or something like that. And we did exams. And then we went to medical checkup. And then you were sent to the Tamale? Uh, yes. To the center. You were there for how many months? Um, I stayed almost for four months. Four months. Yes. And what happened? Um, there were some other, I can say some spiritual something. <laughs> so I have to leave the scene. <laughs> Spiritual, like what? I, I, there were some attacks on you, on me, yeah. By we cannot identify. By spirits, spirit. yes, my lord. So how did it happen? The attacks. Uh, my lord, I just wake up and it came to me that I should leave the scene. The first time the attack happened, or several occasions. It happens about three times, and. Uh, even during that time, the, um, the commander over there, the, our raffle trainer, and at the medical center, um, they all advised me to relax. And, but yes, I like, insisted of coming home. So I was allowed to come home. You mean, did the attacks occur when you were sleeping or when you were doing exercises? When, when I was sleeping. So you see something? Yes, my lord. You dream or you see something? In well, I can say I dream about it. And what, the th what were the things that you were dreaming of? My lord, those days, it was like, uh, I cannot sleep and there was some warnings. Warnings? Yes. From the spirit? Yes, my lord. That word? That should leave the scene. You should leave the military? Uh, yes. You told the commanding officer that the first time did you tell them that I've had some warnings from some spirits? I, I told them I am not in good faith, but if I, I don't take time, I will die. So I have to come home. Die from what? That is what I told them because the way I was then feeling, I was taken to the uh, one lieutenant colonel who is a lady at the military at the at the at the at the, at the, at the, at the, at the hospital there, and he said no. Take you, I will make sure you go. But if you go and then you fail, you're okay. Let's let know, and then that's what you are Before you went for the military training, had you experienced this these spirits before? 
No, my lord. That was your first time. No, my lord. That was my first time. And, and after you left the military, have you experienced those spirits before? No, up to today. When you came home, did you go to any hospital or any spiritualist? I went to uh, a church. I went to hospital. Hospital declared that nothing. Uh, I'm physically fit. Mentally too. Mentally sound. And the church said? And the church is, my Lord, <laughs> they will tell you so many things, but like you cannot. Like God. <laughs> my Lord, they say it's from my house. What is that from your house? What is, what is worrying me? The spirit that is disturbing me is from my house. So I said, okay, fine. So since they, yes, they don't want me to be a military, a military person. person. Yeah. So since because in our military, in our family, there are a lot of military men, but they don't want me. So I have don't to. Want you to. Yeah. But they didn't tell you before you, when you were doing all the recruitment exercises, the spirit didn't warn you. And nothing happens. Probably they didn't see that you were trying to go to the military. Exactly. When I was going to the training, I was going for all these check up when uh, military, uh, like uh, body selections and other things, I didn't even inform anybody. I went and did everything. When it gets to the um, medical checkup, uh -huh. that is where, you know, people started saying that if you don't take time, they, they feel a lot of people. So it was there that I alerted my, uh, my brother and my mother that I, I wanted to go to military. Uh -huh. So I was taken to our, let me say, my uncle. Uh -huh. to, and then he asked me, do you want to go? I said, yes. Uh, your uncle is a soldier? He's, he's, yeah, he's a soldier. What rank? And I, it was a major. Major? Olenu. Olenu. Where was he stationed? Um, but then he was at mass. So he went to his house. Yes. And he called the test seven. And he said, oh, no. If your uncle... Didn't even tell us that somebody is coming like that. You with your pet, with you, we cannot even fail you. Oh, okay. So because of your uncle, they didn't fail you. And not because of my bypass everything. So that probably after you told your uncle, that's when the spirit started noticing that you're going to the military. And my lord, I cannot. Uh, well, I cannot. I will not know. Yeah, you said that before. Yes, before I didn't have this. And I'm saying that the spirits didn't see through the air or through their vision mm -hmm. until you told your uncle. I told my mother. Your mother. So it was my mother who took me to my uncle. So maybe your mother told the spirits. My love, that for that I don't know. Okay. Now, on that day, what were you wearing? I was in a. Well, I was wearing shirts. With what some color? Green, blue, some dot dots. I can. Yes, that kind of some designs in it. Mm -hmm. Green and what? Green and white. Green and white. Cream. It wasn't one color. It wasn't two colors. It was about three or four colors. Yes. Did you have black in it? Yes, yes, yes. So multicolored shirt. Yes, my lord. And when you go there, you saw people in this Mahindra vehicle, two vehicles. Yeah, I saw some people in the vehicle. How many people boarded the vehicle? You said they were being sent to the police station. Um, those I saw in the vehicle, my lord, not, they, at the back there, I saw this before, I saw about seven people here. In the front one, two, I saw. Yeah, in the front, there were three guys sitting down there. They were sitting at the back of the book, the uh, Mahindra, is like the pickup type. So they were sitting at the back there. And thereafter, something happened and there was a warning shot. Yes, my, one. yes my lord. How do you know it was a warning shot? That first one. Uh, the first one, even the one who opened the first shot, was the one I said is in the, the Mufti. Yes, but how do you know it was a warning shot? Where was the gun pointed? Oh, uh, my lord, at the top. Upstairs. Upstairs, my lord. And the shot went through the trees. It went straight, right? 
yeah, they couldn't have entered into the, those trees. Trees, the trees around. Where he was standing. Oh, it should go. It goes straight. I don't think it should have entered into the the leaves over there. The name trees over there. You know. Did they show subsequently fall down? Yeah, for that, I didn't see the shells. Yes. But then later on, when the situation calmed down and some people were collecting shells, did you see them? Oh, yes. I saw some were holding some of the shells. Oh, how many people? Um, some were holding the sh some of the shells. I even saw it. Me, myself, even I saw one. I collected it from my guy. And I was telling her, uh, this is a pistol. The way the, it was, it might be a pistol, something like that, shells. So I was holding it, and I saw this. This white. There's a tall man He's wearing top, white. Uh -huh. And he was holding some of the shells in the plain rubber. Plain rubber, OK. Yes. Rubber. No, no, no. This rubber. Polythene. Polythene. This uh, ice water rubber. OK. He was holding some in it. And it's like, when you hold it and you see him and you say, ah, these are some of the shells, then he you add just added to it. So he was collecting from He them. was then collecting it from the uh, people, yeah. Oh, you don't know that man? Mm, I don't know him. The he, first time, he's, a, he's a tall man. OK, the yeah. first time you saw him with some, yeah. how many, about how many would be a rough estimate? Mm, roughly, what the one he was holding the night, it was around, if I'm, I'm true, it might be around 12 or something like that. And you in saw his hand. people collecting some. And, and they collected some uh, in the around the area. Some, even the blood, something. I was standing there where some guy took some and said, oh, this is some of the shells, and they, they put it in. And so at the end of it, did you notice how many? No, know, what I saw him holding, I guess. It took some time. It took some time. Well, about 30 minutes, let me put it that way. It took about some 30 minutes before. What, what provoked the second batch of shots? Uh, there was a stone. Stone? Yeah. From where? From behind the hair. Okay, so hold on, hold on. If you are coming from the school, yes. the school is this way. You are coming into that lane. Yes. This is Mr. Um, Bimpan's house. Yes. If you are coming from the school. Yes. His will be on the left. Yes. And then this factory will be on the right. On the right. I understand they do um, the barbed wire. Barbed wire, yeah. OK. Will be on the right. And then where were you? I was standing at the corner of Mr. Bimpan's house. Um, house. So th this corner? That corner. So you go, if you come from the school, you go past the gate to the corner where you were standing. When you are coming from the block factory, you... Yeah, the one like, coming from the school. Yeah, from the school, from the school, then either you are coming from the school park, and you jump that small uh, before you come to Mr. Bipon's place. Uh -huh. But when you are coming from the block factory... No, 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 let's stay with... When you are coming from the school, uh, okay. where are you? I was then standing at uh, Mr. Bipon's house, uh, close, to the, the, close to the house. Where well, the prevent is. That's why I'm saying that if you are coming from the school, mm -hmm. there are two corners. Mm -hmm. This one from the school. Yes. And then this one from the main road where the vehicles are. Yes, my lord. And then his gate is in the middle. That's my lord. So are you standing at the first corner from the school or the second corner if you are coming from the main road? Yes, I'm standing at the second corner there. From where the Mahindra vehicle from the main road. If you're coming from the main road. No, our main road is where the school is. Where no, the no, road no, is no, there, guys. No, no, not the school. I mean the other when you when you are on the main road. Yes. And you want to go to Mr. Benton's place, place. You turn left, isn't it? You turn left. And when you turn left, there are a lot of vehicles parked there. Yes. And there are a lot of trees. Yes. And I'm saying that and then you go you you went and Stood by Mr. Bimpon's house. Corner. House, yes, at its corner there. So at that time, that would be right. You are coming from the main so that would be right. That would be right. Yes. And the first person who shot, where was he standing? He was standing. Uh, there's this electricity pole. Yes. 
there. Front, in front of Mr. Ben Ponsor? No. Where? The, where the fitting shop is. When, where the fitting shop was. There is this electricity pole there. That's where he was. That is where. Were you close to him? No, 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 no. I wasn't close. I was, I was standing at the, uh, on, it, on his pavement. Uh, how many yards were you from him? Or meters? Um, from there to, it will be about, if I'm not lying, it will be about 15 meters or, or 20 meters. Did you ask him why he fired a warning shot? My Lord, that's why I said, when he opened the shot, people ran. But you didn't run. You didn't run. Well, I didn't run. So um, I was then going there, uh, personally. I was going closer to him. But whilst I was going, he was also going. He was, he passed in front of the wooden stretcher. That the man that you see was? He was uh, with the, uh, this, uh, something like So at the time that the second shots were being fired, the several shots, you said there were several, the the several shots, yeah. He was not there. But then he has left, but he, uh, he went and joined the main road, so he left. And when the second shots were being fired, were they being fired towards where the vehicles were? Exactly. But I'm aware of it. First, the four that was firing towards the vehicle. They were standing at the other side there. Oh, like they were coming from the park. Where the vehicles are? No, no. The, the vehicles were here. Uh -huh. But they were coming from the park. The yes. they were coming from the park. Yes. So through this lane. Through this lane, yeah. And, and I'm talking about the crowd. Where were they? Yes. The crowd were at where the vehicles were parked. Yes, I, uh, and I, some were even behind those uh, guys. Yeah, the majority were where the vehicles were parked. Yes, were parked. Yes. And you said there were a lot of people. There was a lot of people. About 60. Yes. So that the, at the time of firing the first shot. Yes. At the time of firing the second shot, how many were left? <laughs> but not, when it comes to that time, when it's happening like that, everybody was trying to find some way to except except you i was standing at the corner there so most, was, most of the people were around people right out and then the firing now take direct shot because we had i had an, the one on the container but then to the container some came straight to those cars that has parked over there so you were standing and watching the i was at the corner there and you were seeing the blue i was watching what what was taking place so I was watching them like this. And you were seeing the bullets flying. Some, you can see, my lord, um, you can see as soon as the bullets hit something, you will hear it. And the bullets were the, the crowd, I mean, they were, who was the tallest person among the crowd? About. <laughs> my lord, this thing, it will be very difficult for me to know oh, the okay, highest one. Average, average crowd, isn't it? My Lord, I cannot know that. But the they, were, one. they were shooting at it. I mean, shooting this way. At the they place. were shooting this way. The, the weapon was about this way. Yes, my Lord. Not this way. No, 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 no. no. Not this way. No. Some, you know, they were just shooting. Take, you know, take, take your time. My Lord, they were shooting see, just they were like shooting that. They were shooting at the crowd. Yeah. So they were not pointing weapons this way. And that is where. I cannot see that they point the weapon, but what I saw was the shooting was taking place. Don't worry, take your time. Mr. Benton's gate, people are in front. Yes. Where you were hiding to, some people are somewhere, isn't it? Yes, my lord. And you are hiding and seeing the force firing at the people. Yes, my lord. Were they firing at the people in front of Mr. Benton's gate or the other group standing towards the vehicles? Um, I, the bullets, what I saw most of these bullets I saw was those ones that enter into the container, the container, and one that take your even enter take into. The troops are coming from this side, isn't it? Yeah, the troops are coming from that side. And you are hiding somewhere. In that uh, yes, I'm there. Uh, yeah. This is the gate of Mr. Abin Ponsal. Mr. Abin And this is the warehouse where they do the... Or factory, what do you do? Yes, yes and this group of people, the force, how many were they? Uh, the force, the force men. Yeah, those who were fired. The second batch of jokes. Yes. If I am not lying, they will be almost about. 
they'll be around four, 14 or 15. Good. In that small lane? Yes, in that small lane. So somewhere in front and somewhere at the back? Yes. Were they all shooting? No, not even. They were, the, those in the black T-shirt, mm -hmm. they were there, and some, let me say, um, the crowd were behind them. And the majority of the crowd were just in front of the... Talking about the crowd in front, yeah. about how many of the forces were shooting at that crowd? I know that, uh, that I cannot even count. I cannot count it. But you can hear that they were firing. Were they single shots or rapid shots? <laughs> so single shots? I think so. And they were firing at the crowd. That's what I'm... Uh, yes, they were firing straight to there. Yes, so that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying that if the crowd is here, yes, they were not firing right. Yeah, they were not firing left. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were firing at them. Uh, some go straight. Um, I believe the firing. It was one person that was firing. So some go straight. Some go to that other directions. Because even where we're standing, quite some, you know. When it spread out, I is some we had it. At and the this, place. this is a crowd of about more, more than 50 to and those so run off. But even those that left that they were fine, we all are the corners, and nobody was hit. Some was hit. No, 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 I mean, nobody died because this is direct fire that you are saying. It's not you think that some of the bullets might have hit something and hit those who were injured. This is, um, even the, my lord, the one, it hurt the, the leg. And the one with, the one that hit the, the, ribs, the ribs, the right ribs, and the shoulder, left shoulder. Yes, what I know is, uh, in the shooting, I think the bullet just, where the bullets got is where, I saw the, uh, the, 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 the marks. Since you say they were just shooting behind. They were, they, were, they were just shooting. Could some of the bullets have hit any of the obstacles? A wall, a tree, or something? Oh, yes. And then it comes off, you know, when? Yes. Bullets, yes, it's true. For, because some hit in the different places, different narration. Wood receives some. Your, uh, yes. your military training, you know that even the one in shots. If the people are far away yeah. and they fire one shot in the yeah. air, they don't, they don't remain in the air. Yeah, it comes down. It comes down, but it doesn't come, so it will come this way, isn't it? It goes and it comes down. Yes, like, like you're saying, it goes up and it comes this way. Yes. Like an arc. Yeah. And it may hit anything and hit you or anybody. Uh, yes. Yes, even as it's coming down, it can hit a human being or a obstacle, the car, the tree, anything. Mm -hmm. And, and this. Well, hold on, hold on. And you will still be injured, isn't it? Yes, my lord. But for these ones that you are talking about, it was pointing directly at them. Direct. And nobody was killed. Nobody was killed. Was because it at the scene, nobody was, was killed. Was it divine intervention? Uh, my lord, when you look at the distance where they were fighting, they were firing, from the park, when you climb that short so, wall, so, so, that madame talked about, that short wall, mm -hmm. and then you passed by this. Uh, there were some containers, yes. wooden uh, over there. It was there they were. It was there that they were doing open the fire. So that's so they were standing there opening the fire. It's a little distance. A little distance. About how meters from where you were? Uh, where I uh, was at the corner. So from there to where they were, we are about. Um, is 50 meters, so it, this will be about 40 meters away. That's why I'm saying that if somebody fires a weapon from 40 meters, even if it's pointed in the air and you have all those obstacles, it can hit one of those obstacles and come and hit a human being. The tree that is there that has a lot of holes. Yes, I saw since it happened. I saw one, one tree. Okay, that the bullets. Yes. Well, was it the uh, same day or later on? No, it was the same, same day. day. Yeah, but did, it, there were a lot of holes. There were, I saw, I saw a hole. 
and that tree. Yes. One day when we saw lots of holes. Yes. Yes, and there were lots of holes, maybe about five or six. Oh, yes, my lord. But I didn't see any bullet embedded in the tree. Um, my lord, this, uh, the bullet hits that tree. You can see the way the place uh, is. It looks like the, the cover of the tree, it has peel off and some of this the Yes, so the bullets were not embedded in the, the tree. In the tree, yeah. Yes. So I think it fell on the ground. Uh, after hitting the ground, uh, the wood, the tree, it fell on the ground, yeah. But your divine people, none of them was hit. Uh, some, some were hit. No, no, I mean, fatal shot. Because if people are... The fatal shot. Fatal, fatal shot. Ah, fatal shot. Oh, okay. If about 14 or 15 yes. security people... Mm -hmm. Especially the people you say you didn't look like soldiers or police because you were not behaving well. Yeah, my they Lord. were not properly trained. Yes, my they Lord. were just firing by heart. The way they were firing. Yes, yes. and yet it didn't hit anybody. Uh, to cause death. No, death didn't come in. If you are standing this way yeah. and someone is firing at you, will it hit your rib? Uh, my Lord, since they are not professional trained, they were firing anyway. So yes, yes, can, yes, but. If they are firing by heart, can it hit something and kind of hit your rib? Mm, for that one, it can, it can also happen. Yes, that's more likely than hitting you. I mean, if it's firing at you directly, 14 people, several shots, it should have hit somebody in the chest or somewhere. Mm, but, but, my, my lord, they have people scattered around. So, um, even people who are standing closer to where even the bullet enter into the containers. Some ran away, so it was there that we realized that, oh, some of the bullets has entered into sure. uh, uh, some people. So there were parts of observation. You yeah. were watching bullets, you were watching people run away, you were not running away, you were standing, isn't it? I was hitting somewhere. Yes, but you were watching. Yes, my lord. But the only thing we didn't see that day was where the stone came from. My lord, the stone came from, I saw from the direction where the, uh, the crowd was. Only one stone. Uh, I saw one stone before the warning shot took place. Did you shout to them, who is throwing the stone or something? Uh, my Lord, this is a crowd that all of us, although we are there, and what we are, we, we are doing, everybody is trying to protect himself. So with what I saw, before the firing took place, we all tried to uh, take over. So fine, my final scenario. The first person who fired had run away, the person in the film, isn't it? Yeah, the one in the most. People are firing shots all over the place. I mean, the force, they are firing shots all over the place. Yes, my lord. Afterwards, people collected shells. Yes. People, a lot of people looked at them, they were being handed to, I mean, one shell could have been examined by about three or four people. Well, like, like somebody took one and you looked at it and you gave it to man collecting, isn't it? Yes, my lord. So all this time, where was Onamu uh, San George? Oh, but then he was not in the scene. When the shows were taking place. When the show started taking place, he was not in the scene. When the force, uh, he he was, hold on. When the force was firing at the crowd, mm -hmm. you yeah. didn't see him in that crowd. Oh, no, my lord. I didn't see him. You didn't see him with the man, the soldier who left. The, I mean, the fake soldier, whatever it is. Shall we call him fake soldier? The yeah, one who fake soldier, yeah. The fake or false man. You didn't see him with Mr. San George? No, 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 no. And yeah. when I was following him, he was going with some man. But when we got to the gutter, uh -huh. the way he was doing, he moved fast. And so. I thought, let me wait him. So that whole period, when you were hiding and observing things, you didn't see that soldier with Mr. St. George? Mm, I didn't see him with Mr. St. George. If, maybe. No, 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 I don't. Oh, okay. And when people were running away, you didn't see Mr. St. George among those running away. Uh, my Lord, this is uh, running to save your life, so you cannot see 
You didn't see him? I didn't see him. Fine. And those standing in front of the candidate's house who were being fired at directly, mm. you didn't see Mr. Sam George? Uh, I didn't see him, but I saw him at the earlier earlier on, before, on, before, before the, the first, first shot. Before they started doing oh, okay. the... Uh, yes. yes. But after the first shot, after the second, but we didn't uh, see him. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my love.